Hello, this is Dr. Heath Van Horn. I just wanted to go through a quick lab of how to set up DHCP using Packet Tracer. So we're going to build a quick network here. We're going to use the equipment that we have in our lab. So there's a router. And then we'll use some of our generic switches here. And then we'll use a couple of PCs on this side couple of PCs on that side. We're going to set up a label. On this side we're going to call this um, network1 and we'll use the IP address of 172.16.0.1 for this IP address. So this is actually the network address All right, network two, we'll just do 172.16.1.0, and that gives us, and we'll do a sitter of 24. We'll do the same thing on this side, sitter of 24. Okay, it could be sitter, it could be cider. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. All right. GIF, GIF. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use, I think we have two, yeah, we have two fast Ethernet ports. So we're going to do um, FA00 on this side. And we'll give it the IP address of 172.16. Dot zero dot one and on this side we'll use FA um, oh, sorry yeah FA zero one one seven two dot sixteen dot one dot one okay so we got our two IP addresses um, built out the other thing we need to do because DHCP is we gotta connect everything so let's connect these items and that side zero zero this side is zero one and we really don't care because they're unmanaged switches all right so we got that Alright, so now we want to uh, configure the router for initial use. So, hit no. Always hit no. Enable config T. Interface with the first one, zero, zero. IP address. And you guys have done this many times already. 16.0.1255255255.0 Okay, no shut. Okay. Exit interface with FA01 IP address we want 172.16.1.1255255255.0 No shut, don't turn it off. Exit. Okay, and then write to memory. Alright. So, we go back and we establish our loopback connection. That's just handy for as we're doing programming down the line. So we interface with loopback 
one, which is the default. Would it be helpful if I did type the one? All right. So loopback one is now active. IP address 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1 .1 1 .1 and a subnet mask of everything. There we go. No shut. All right. So we got that. So now we want to know, well, when we do DHCP, we don't want it competing um, with IP addresses we've already assigned. And we've already assigned this IP address to FO, FA00 and this IP address to FA01. So when we set this up, we want to exclude some IP addresses. So let's uh, IP DHCP. Uh, Excluded address 172.16.0.1. Okay, and then we say IP DHCP pool, and we'll call that net one. And then network. So for the following network, which we already know because that's our network one, we have to tell it what our network is. We're doing it for 172.16.0.0.255.255.255.0. And then we say use DNS server to resolve um, DNS issues. And you should recognize this one as 8.8.8.8, .8 which is Google. Okay. Um, normally, you'll have a local DNS. And when you guys take CETA 235, uh, I do show you how to defeat uh, DNS, DNS spoofing. It's a lot of fun. Um, but uh, so that should clue you in on DNS. Okay. So let's configure the other side. IP DHCP excluded address 172.16.1.1. So now we're excluding that static IP from being assigned or from the system trying to assign it to somebody else. IP DHCP pool, and we'll cleverly name it net2. All right, now we want network 172.16.1.0, which is our network over here. 255, 255, 255.0. Okay. So then we use the default router. Oops, I forgot the hyphen. 1.1.1.1 and again we'll point it to Google which this is a simulator you're not really going to see Google on here but it's good practice to get in when you're doing this to do it the same way every time so that way your muscle memory kicks in okay DNS server 8.8.8.8 and exit okay so now we have them set up for um, Um, uh, we're, we're, we've configured these for IP to be DNS. Okay, so what we want to do um, is we want to make sure that the uh, address space that they're going to the right location, which is itself. That's why we have a loopback. We want to make sure it goes to the right location to get the IP space. So all we're going to do is we're going to interface with each of the ports. And we're going to assign it a helper address. 
And all we're doing is we're guaranteeing that the DHCP is going to our loopback um, in case it needs um, some assistance here. So we did that. While we're here, we can do the other side. And yes, we could have done this all at once when we were um, building or we were interfacing with the ports earlier. However, I wanted to sh kind of show you guys the thought process on how these go. All right, so now we want to go to, um, so if we, if we close this, DHCP is running, but we click here and it shows that we have not changed the IP address. There's still no IP address. So one of the things you have to do is on your on your desktop itself is you got to go in and do DHCP. You got to turn it on. And so we go over here and we turn these on. So DHCP is on. It's requesting an IP address. It found an IP address. And it gave us an IP address within our IP network space. So this one's 172.16.0.2, and the other one is um, dot .3, I think. Yeah, dot .3. And it excluded using dot .1, because, if it because otherwise it would have tried to assign this to 1, we would have gotten a DHCP error, and then you're chasing your tail all day long. So on these ones, we have to do the exact same way. We go to here, we turn this on. It's requesting, you don't have to wait for it, we'll turn this on, and it's requesting, and now it also assigned IP addresses. And if you notice, it automatically chose its gateway, which is 11111, and it automatically filled the DNS server, which is 88888, which when you configure these manually, you have to fill all this in. Okay, so we don't have to do that. And everything is working really well. Let's turn that back on. There we go. And now you've got uh, a PC that you don't have to configure manually and you don't have to memorize what the IP space is um, because they will just get the IP address that they require. Okay, so let's see if our packets move. Uh, successful. Failed. Oh, because we didn't set up a... Because um, we didn't set up a route. So if we, if we don't have any IP routes, it's going to fail. But, yeah, so our computers can talk to each other. We can talk from here to here just fine. So, no big deals. The only reason they won't crosstalk is because of uh, we didn't set up any routes. So, and that's it. That's how you set up um, DHCP in a network. And I will leave you with that.